Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we're going to be looking at the latest update for No Man's Sky. It's more of a, a patch for right now, but it's adding so much awesome stuff to the game, it's going to be amazing. So, let's jump into it. So earlier today, January 22nd, it is a uh, Wednesday, there was a rumblings of a new update coming out. and I was freaking out a little bit. And so I was like, okay, I went and checked on it. And yep, lo and behold, on the No Man's Sky website th this morning, this is what I saw. And it is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to read you guys what it says and show you some of the stuff that they threw out there. So let's just jump right into it. So... It starts off with Beyond Development Update 6. So this is we're still on Beyond. Even though we had Synthesis come out, this is still counted as Beyond. So I guess Beyond is the huge update, and Synthesis was a smaller update to it, I guess. But anyway, Beyond Development Update 6, January 22nd, 2020. Happy New Year, everyone. We've released a small patch today to introduce some new items to the Space Anomaly's Quicksilver Shop. This spot has an exciting and diverse range of products planned for this year. We've enjoyed reading your requests and ideas and hope you'll enjoy what we have lined up. So they have multiple different items, not just one. Like before we were just getting heads. We're going to be getting a lot more items, it sounds like. And it continues on. From the Quicksilver Synthesis Bot, commencing on May Monday the 27th, Polo's robotic companion will begin compiling community research data to unlock a new category of customization, colored jetpack trails. And they put this video together of the different ones. We're only going to have three, it looks like, to begin with. But it looks amazing. Look at this video. This is awesome. Anyway, it, it keeps going. Over the, fast, over the last few weeks, explorers have also unlocked a number of new exotic heads through Polo's ongoing community research request. Progress is currently underway to unlock the final exotic traveler head, Iteration Ariande. Ariadne? Ariadne? It's the, the cat looking head. This is pretty awesome. I'm loving this. We're going to unlock the cat head. And it kind of goes through and it shows you all the other ones we've unlocked. Well, not all of them. Some of the more popular ones, I think. Complete multiplayer missions at the Nexus to contribute to the research project and unlock these exclusive red, green, and blue trails to apply to your jetpack exhaust. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, we're literally going to get red, green, and blue. Hopefully more colors, but I like that. I mean, I'm definitely going to be using that blue one. That's pretty awesome. Then it goes on, Weekend Missions. Another planet has begun presenting signs of instability. Detected by priest entity Nada's specialized equipment. This time, the disturbance epicenter is originating from somewhere deep upon a distant planet far below the sea level. So either it's going to be underground, but it, it, when they say sea level, this is going to be under the ocean, it sounds like. There's going to be something under the water. It's going to be pretty awesome. This weekend, travelers may sign up at the Nexus to participate in the event and earn generous Quicksilver rewards. I think this is just going to be the normal weekend event, you guys. You got to go to the, the uh, Space Anomaly, talk to the Nexus, and get your 1,200 Quicksilver for your mission. It doesn't sound like they're changing anything, per se, and the, and the update, I've already updated, it wasn't even that big, so I don't think they added very much to it. I think it was just getting ready for the, uh, the update that's probably going to hit next week on Monday or Sunday. Anyway, let's keep going. The iterations aboard the Anomaly are expressing increasing discomfort about these ongoing disturbances. Speak to Iteration Mercury before venturing out on the mission for more information. So we're actually going to start getting some lore. So I don't know what's going on with that. We're going to have to test that out when uh, the weekend event hits. That's going to be uh, uh, Friday, two days from now. So we might have to go check that out. 
And then it goes through and it shows us some uh, community spotlight stuff. Some some of the things that people have been building, which looks insane. Some of these uh, builds are crazy looking, so that's going to be pretty cool. But it finishes up with something that I, I'm, it gets me a little excited. You know, you guys know I get amped up, so I'm going to try not to to speculate anything. But I, I'm getting really excited about this. But the, the sign-off was for or development update. A minor game update to support the upcoming shop items has been released on all platforms today. We have another, more substantial update arriving in the not-so-distant future, and much more planned for 2020 that we look forward to sharing with you, with you. Thank you so much, Sean. Now that's, that's pretty big. We have another, more substantial update arriving in the not-too-distant future. I think that they're probably going to have one more, like, smaller update, like, maybe not even as big as Synthesis. I don't think they're going to add anything major, but I have a feeling they're going to add something like Bite Beat. They're going to add, like, a little feature here and there. But I also think that they're getting ready for something bigger, maybe something along the lines of Beyond or the next update. I mean, seriously, if it's that major, it's going to be huge. But you never know. I mean, it could just be something like the uh, Synthesis update where they add a ton of new features in, but it's not really an overhaul. Who knows? What do you guys think it's going to be? Comment down below in the uh, the comments and let me know what you guys think it's going to be. But I, in the meantime, I'm pumped up. We're gonna actually going to get start getting different items other than heads. They're going to start out with the jetpack colors. And they say they have other ideas that they've been taking from the community. So... Hopefully they listen to us and maybe we'll start getting more armor. Because I know that's what I've been asking for. I want different armor sets. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe we'll be able to buy a uh, space station. Oh, man. I can hope. Maybe that'll be an update. I don't know. I'm just really excited. We finally have something from Sean. And usually he doesn't put something out there unless it's coming soon. I mean, granted, take that with a grain of salt. Because they announced the Beyond update. In, I believe, April of last year or March. And we didn't see that until August. And so that was a big, long wait. But hopefully it's not as long soon this time. Maybe it'll be this summer. Who knows? But I'm excited. I am super pumped up, as you can see. And I can't wait to play with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.